Hi there. Welcome back to James and James Podcast, where all your professional wrestling news. And today we're talking about WWE and SmackDown. And what do you got for us today? So we've got Cameron Grimes versus Baron Corbin and that five seconds of a match. Oh, yes. Now, okay. Yeah. Because I remember just, okay, the match started. I was looking and I turned turn to the side, come back, and it's over. And ding, ding, ding. <laughs> so what what happened there? So basically all, it was, it was one move, that's it. One move? Yes. Uh, so uh, the match starts, and Kremlin Grimes did this, like, uh, he jumps and stomps on uh, Barack Obama's chest. He puts him down, and, and one, two, three. And my thing was, are you serious? That one move? Yeah. He and gets like any, on his chest, and then that's it? Yeah, that, that can even make some emotions about it. Cause, cause uh, before the match started, Bear Coleman was talking trash to Cameron Grimes, and uh, after that match, I was like, "Well, I guess that's kind of like, uh, I guess awesome because like you can shut up a person within like uh, like five seconds of a match, and, but at the same time, like for fans who don't know who you are or don't know how you wrestle, like me, I know who, I know who he is. I've never seen like, how he wrestled before. Yeah, and to, to see that match for the first time, seeing this man wrestle, I was like. I don't even know how you wrestle. Like, show me how you wrestle like like a normal match. Yeah, not just do one move. I mean, the only thing we can say is that he finishes a match, but I mean, <laughs> but like you said, I mean, like how you know, like if, if this because he was in NXT, right? Yeah, and he got uh, with the main roster. So the then this was his first match. Yeah, on the main roster on SmackDown. <laughs> so and that was it. Five seconds of match. All right, and I bet you everybody doesn't even really remember much about it anymore. <laughs> I know I did, and I was like waiting for you because because you wrote some notes. And I'm like, okay, good, because I don't remember that match. <laughs> one of those was one, one, one word. <laughs> yeah, it was just one move, like you said. I mean, I'm move, like, yeah. but seriously, I mean, he just lands on your chest and that's it. You're done. Yeah, he stomps him on the chest, like standing up. He jumps up and it stomps him. I mean, it. Kevin Owens jumps on everybody. He uses his body move. What do you call that move he does? Uh, I, go, I, I forget what it's called, but he just lands his whole body on him. And I'm like, and I tell you, I hate that move. Oh, yeah, yeah. He, he jumps on him, he falls on his back on him. Yeah, yeah, his back on him. And I'm like, and then, I mean, that's more weight than this guy did, you know? So I'm like, I, I mean, that I wasn't was impressed. Crazy. I was not impressed. It didn't excite me or anything. Like, mm. Yeah, I do think they should have put that a little bit better, to be honest. <laughs> I don't know about that. So let's see who's next. I don't know. <laughs> For Cameron Grimes? Yeah, is he going to run and jump on somebody in there? <laughs> let's see. Ding, ding, ding. Like, That's just me. He smashes. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, but I heard some news about Randy Orton today. You were telling me some stuff. So so what do you got about Randy Orton? So his doctors are telling him to retire and do That's it. And that kind of like shocked me. Because like, because uh, he left, I think it was like doing knee, like, knee injury. Yeah. So it was on his leg. Uh, somewhere his leg. I think it's knee. And I think I'm not sure how it happened. I don't remember. How, I don't even remember how it happened. But I mean, uh, so now it's like bad news for him. Uh, I think he needs to retire now. Yeah, I mean, I always I I like this guy. You know, even when he first comment uh, came out, he was the legend killer at one time. Yeah. He retired people before, and um, I don't know. He's he's always been good, and I always chanted for him every time he came out. But and he's been there for a long time too. Yeah, he was like the first youngest wrestler to join the company. So then, my thing is this: is um, wait, one of the first wrestlers to join? No, one of the first youngest wrestlers. Oh, youngest, yes, yes, uh, yeah, you're right, you're right. And uh, I liked him in when he was in, in Evolution with Ric Flair. And, yeah, and he was uh, a part H. of a, a lot of factions, but he said that like, Evolution was like the main one. And then he also brought in Cody Rhodes and uh, the other guy. Um, Ted DiBiase, yeah, they, them, them too, because they, they team together. Yeah, and he, he he brought them into the WWE, helped them make their name. Yeah, because they were, all their fathers were in wrestling. Yeah, so that's why he brought them in. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I'm hoping he's probably just needs some rest, uh, continue some you know uh, physical therapy, and come back. Maybe we'll see him in a Royal Rumble. Maybe in a WrestleMania. Maybe who knows. Uh, SummerSlam, you know, but I think if he comes, he needs to run for the championship. Yes, yeah, I mean, if, if Randy wasn't even uh, was here, he would have been in that tournament. I mean, they give the belt to Ronda Rousey like nothing. Like, oh, here's your belt. I mean, Charlotte Fair, here's your belt. Yeah. You know, like, come on. I mean, I don't, I don't think 
I don't think they need to give it to Randy Orton. I know he could, you know, go for the belt and win it on his own. But I'm just saying, like, man, like, he needs to get another run on it. Yeah, I mean, I mean like you said about earlier, like, he helped a lot of people make his name. Even Matt Riddle, uh, remember he teamed with him? Yeah, that's right. And he helped uh, bring his fan base up. And and it worked. Yeah, because really even worked. now, his, his fan base is crazy. That's true. So, I like that. I mean, I do feel like he's going to return in, like, a matter of months or, like, a year or two. It's going to take, like, a long time, though, for him to come back. But I'm pretty sure it will be, like, a big pay-per-view or, like, the day after WrestleMania. Well, thank you for watching this episode. And don't forget to like this video and hit that subscribe button. Like always, James will have all the uh, social media links in the description down below. Thank you for watching. Peace.